Today we present you a trading indicator that is rarely used, Relative Vigor Index, abbreviated RVI. Please stay tuned because we'll show you one trading strategy that shows the potential of the indicator, as shown by the curve you see on the screen. First, what is the Relative Vigor Index and what does it indicate? The Relative Vigor Index is a technical indicator that measures the momentum of price movement by comparing the closing price to its trading range. It uses a simple moving average to smooth the results, called the signal line. It is based on the tendency of the price to close higher than it opens in an uptrend and close lower than it opens in a downtrend. How is the Relative Volatility Index calculated? To calculate the Relative Vigor Index, you need to follow a four-step process. First, calculate the numerator. Second, calculate the denominator. Third, you calculate the RVI. And finally, you end the process by calculating the signal line. Now, let's show you a relative vigor index trading strategy. We backtested the relative vigor index on GLD, the ETF tracking the gold price, and the results are pretty good. The trading rules are simple yet effective. We use a five-day look-back period and we buy GLD when the RVI crosses above the signal line. We also add a second condition. The five-day RSI of the relative vigor index must be below 50. We sell when the signal line crosses above the RVI. The results are pretty good, and there are many trades. The average gain per trade is 0.44%, and the win rate is a moderate 51%. However, the winners are on average much bigger than the average losers. Does the strategy work on other assets? No, it doesn't work well on the S&P 500 or bonds, for example. However, that doesn't mean the strategy is curve-fitted. All assets move differently. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.